it was like, I've got this parallel life. I've got this life that I'm living where people look at me and they call me names. Boy, you freak! And then I've got this other life where, you know, I'm just, I'm just like you. I think the main things that you need are passion, um, energy. Uh, you need to be able to convey those ideas clearly to other people. Um, and you need to love working with actors. You need to love working with other people. You need to love the idea of being collaborative, of getting a team around you and allowing that team to create the best work that they can. You know what's doing all of this, don't you? There are demons. If you're a writer, write. Wake up and write. 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 Just keep on writing. Just don't stop. If you want to be a director, find a way to direct. Don't wait for it to come to you. I mean, I think this is, I mean, this is what I tell all the young writers and directors that I kind of speak to in workshops. Direct, create your own work. Don't wait for it to come to you. Um, you know, when I started, whatever I could get my hands on to make a film, I made a film, you know. Even if it was just a case of taking, you know, 20,000 still photographs and putting them together as a storyboard and saying, well, that's my film. It's not moving yet, but that's still a film, you know. Please don't know what this is. They don't know what they're looking for. But life really is a meaningless pile of chaos. Do know better, actually, than study all the films of Hitchcock. How to tell a story cinematically, you know. Learn about those things, uh, you know. Enrich yourself daily with a passion for how uh, filmmakers tell their stories. Brian De Palma, Scorsese, Hitchcock, uh, Jean Cocteau, David Lynch, all these great filmmakers. Study them. Make that part of your bloodstream. What would I have to do? Help yeah, my world evolve. Help. And just do that endlessly, daily, living, sleeping, working, and something will begin to happen. For film in particular, to survive as an art form, we need to kind of respect the idea of the creator, the person whose ideas they are, and that film can be an individual statement. It's not just out there that anyone can do it. It's not this kind of strange um, X factor world where I, I can do it because I want it. My passion is enough. I don't have to have talent, you know. The people have worked very hard to achieve what they achieve. It doesn't just come out of the blue. And I think that has to be respected. And the main way in the history of art that that has always been respected is with this, um, uh, this thing of copyright, that these ideas are valuable, that they have a currency, that they have an ownership, and that should be um, something that is worthy, as I say, of respect. One brutal murder. Just one, as I said. No, no, I'm, uh, I'm doing uh, graffiti. And that's the deal you did with Papa B, is it? Yeah. Well, and you believed him, did you? What? <laughs> One born every minute. Priceless.